Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading. Is it a good idea to reach out for uh, Aquarius? Uh, sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for February 2022. So these are the Aquarian individuals that are currently in no contact with somebody. Uh, and, um, you know, we're going to see if it's a good idea for you to reach out to this person and uh, what will happen if you did reach out to this individual, okay? So you can feel free to uh, apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the roles if you want. Um, keep in mind that these are general messages, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, if this message didn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Um, give this video a thumbs up. Like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Uh, share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. And leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, for those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. Alright, Aquarius, let's get started. Alright, tell me about the person that Aquarius is currently in no contact with. Is it a good idea for Aquarius to reach out to this person? Is it a good idea for Aquarius to reach out to this person? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for February. 2022. All right. All right, let's see what we have here. Uh, Page of Cups and the Nine of Swords. We have someone here that's really stressed out about coming forward towards you. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I feel like they're trying to decide whether they want to come forward or not. Seems like this person wants a new beginning here with you, okay? Uh, Aries, Leo, uh, Aries, Aquarius energy. We have the Lovers and the Seven of Pentacles. Whoever this person is, this person's definitely caught in a rock in a hard place because I feel like this person doesn't know what to do. Whether it'd be worth it to invest in this connection or not, or that it would, if it would be a waste of time, I mean, you could be feeling this by yourself too. Um, I just feel like this person doesn't know which way to go, whether to leave this behind or continue moving forward or something like that. Let's see, tell me about this page of cups here. Ace of Pentacles. Someone here is wanting a solid commitment here with you. They want a new beginning here with you, uh, Aquarius. Nine of Swords with a Five of Wands. But I feel like this person, whoever this person is, you might be dealing with someone who's younger than you. A water sign, a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or Aries, or another Aquarius or Gemini here. Um, Oh, look at that. We got the Ace of Cups. Um, this person's like, incredibly conflicted whether they want to come forward or not, okay? It seems like this person does care about you a lot, okay? Um, but I feel like this person may be scared to come forward. Uh, tell me about the Fool. We have Judgment here. Sagittarius Energy, Scorpio Energy. Could be dealing with a Sag or a Scorpio here. Tell me about the Two of Swords. We have the Six of Swords. Yeah, I feel like this person does not know which way to go. Okay? I, you know, I feel like they do want to communicate, but I feel like they're really scared to. Okay? Um, I, I feel like this person fears that you won't respond to them or that fears that you've blocked them or something like that. You know, I feel like this person could have stressed you out a lot. You know, I feel like this person does carry around um, a lot of baggage with them. I feel like this person might have projected a lot of their issues onto you. Um, but it seems like they're trying to figure out whether they want to invest in this or that if it's a waste of, a waste of time. The Lovers and the High Priest just cancer Pisces energy. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles here. And the Nine of Wands. With the Two of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. 
I'm not. It's it's really uh, you know I'm I'm getting, I, I'm getting that this person's incredibly indecisive here. I mean, not just with this, but I mean, you could go out to dinner with this person, and you know, this person takes forever to make any sort of decision on what they want to eat. I don't know. I just feel like this person is just really in their head about this, weighing in the pros and the cons, like which way to go. I feel like this person does not know which way to go. You know, I feel like this person knows that you love them or that they know that they love you. But the thing is, um, this person is having has major issues in making any sort of decisions here, you know. So, you know, I, I feel like this person doesn't really have a strong voice. Do you know what I mean? I feel like this is the type of person, or the per this is the type of person that doesn't really speak up if there are issues. Okay. Um, Let's see. Uh, what will happen if Aquarius reached out to the person that they are currently in no contact with? What will happen if Aquarius reached out to the person that they are currently in no contact with? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for February 2022. Page of Wands and the Ace of Swords. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy could be dealing with the strong. Um, I'm getting strong Sag, okay, but it could be anybody. And the Knight of Swords here and Justice. Whoever this individual is, I mean, they're coming in perhaps to balance out the scales here to make things right. Okay, I I do feel like they're going through some sort of awakening here. Okay, we have Libra energy with the Justice card, uh, Libra, Aquarius, uh, Gemini with that uh, Knight of Swords, with the Queen of Swords here and the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Could be dealing with another air sign here with strong Sagittarius energy in their chart. You got strong Sagittarius energy in your chart. The Seven of Swords. The problem is when I see a lot of Knights, I mean... When it comes to a relationship, the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands is probably the most inconsistent energy there is, okay? This person's all over the place. Uh, Page of Wands with the Nine of Pentacles, Pre-Empress energy, Virgo energy. Um, Ace of Swords with the Two of Wands. We have this two of wands showing up again. I'm not quite sure what this person really wants here. And I feel like you've always felt that same way too. You know, Knight of Swords, we have the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces energy. I mean, we definitely have someone here that wants to speak the truth to you. Ju uh, uh, Justice, we have the Ace of Wands, Queen of Swords. We have Strength card, Leo Energy, Knight of Wands. We got the Tower, Aries, Scorpio Energy. I mean, We have someone here that's definitely trying, okay? Definitely trying to make things right with this feminine energy here. But I feel like this feminine energy, you know, I feel like if there's some sort of communication here, um, Aquarius, I feel like someone here is definitely going to stand their ground, okay? I just feel like we have a queen here, a feminine energy that's not going to take anyone's BS. Because I do feel like someone here is like, someone here is trying to rush in to sort of like rock your world a little bit, okay? 
The thing is, I feel like this person really cares. I feel like this person really loves you. I feel like this person wants a new beginning here with you. But at the same time, I'm not quite sure if this person really wants that. So, yeah, we have the King of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. I don't know if the, this is uh, something where... You know, if they get you back, I don't know if it boosts their ego or something like that. Because, you know, maybe you're, you know, you're really financially well off or something like that. You definitely have someone here that's trying to make another go at this. Okay, like I said, someone here is definitely rushing in to rock your world a little bit. So, so Aquarius, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.